All right, welcome back. Uh, we got Bishop Cider Company Pecan Pie, made with Texas pecans. The six percenter. I have, I've had several of those, but I don't think I've ever had that one. Yeah, first time I've ever seen it. They've got a, uh, you can buy a mix packet. I think OnQ has them, and I know Crest has them, of the, the Bishop Ciders. And 102720, oh. so it's a little old. I like the uh, their blood orange ones pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen those. I, I try to stay away from ciders because all it is is just uh, you know a bunch of apple juice and alcohol, and then they throw they throw in a bunch of just bullshit. That's kind of what it seems like. Most of those aren't very good. Yeah, like all, all I smell is, is apple. That's it. Yep, just apple. Yeah. That is fucking interesting. Apples. You you actually taste the syrupy shit in the middle of a of a of a pecan pie and you get the the dry bitterness tail end of a pecan and it actually tastes like pecan and it leaves you kind of dry and bitter like a like you're eating fucking fresh pecans. Well fucking A. just the very first initial hit is apple but that that lasts like maybe a, two seconds but then you're left with the uh, the the syrupy inside molasses type shit from the uh pecan pie and you said that came from todd no 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 i bought this at a uh, uncork oh well i've never seen those i look at the beer cabinet every damn near every time i go to any store i look go and look and see what they got in the beer cabinet and i've never seen the pecan pie bishops I'll have to go look at Crest. Crest usually has a pretty good selection of stuff like that that's like real distributed. Yeah. They even they've even had some uh like limited release rough tail stuff I've seen in there before. God damn. Yeah, and being six percent, I mean they're that's higher than what you're gonna see most ciders. They're typically four to five. Right. This would be a great unfortunately we're we're past fall, but this would be a great fall beer. Or cider. Hey, you say unfortunately we're past fall. I say thank God we're past fall. <laughs> I'd rather stand out on the side of the highway sweating my fucking ass off than freezing to death. I mean, I, I hate cold. That is fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. I've I've had a few I'm, of these from Bishop, to... and this is probably the best. Have you had the pineapple one? Not that maybe I don't know. I'd have to look. It's nasty. Don't worry about it. The, the only thing I hate about spring is all the rain. The tornadoes and hail really doesn't bug me too much. I mean, I got a garage. I got a lot of shit in it, but I got to move it. And it's no big deal. I got full cover. No, you see, <laughs> so do I. But I mean, my car has got like 11,000 miles on it. I like to keep it a little, a little new. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Past, uh, what, eight years, we're on our fourth car? <laughs> yeah. All because we Ash totaled out. Ashley's a, Ashley's a car crashing sucker. Well, no, I, I killed the last one, the Fiat, which I'm glad I did. It was a piece of shit. Oh, you were driving the last one, huh? You and Grant were by yourselves. Yeah, I, I the dude pulled out in front of me. I hit him doing maybe... 35 or 40. And what did it was it broke the um, the linkage that goes to the, uh, the the steering. And in order to replace that, they'd have to pull the motor. And the dude's like, no, I'm going to find every fucking thing wrong with this car. And it's going to, it's going on the damn list of shit that needs to get fixed. All right. Those motherfuckers across the street just goddamn locked their car again. <laughs> you should go out there and be, just fucking shoot out the windows. Man, one night I was like real fucking drunk, like real drunk. It was like 1130 at night. And I was sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos and somebody knocked on my door. And I was like, who the fuck is at my house? So I got up and I went and went, ran to the bedroom and grabbed my pistol and stuck it in my waistline in my shorts and opened the front door. And there was a fucking guy standing there. And 
He just like reaches out and hands me a bag of Taco Bell and turns around and walks away. What the fuck? And I was like, what? Like, I know I'm fucking drunk, but I did not order Taco Bell. <laughs> so I walked outside to the end of the sidewalk by the driveway. And the guy across the street, like, comes outside with a flashlight and is, like, looking around. So, you know, his app went off saying that DoorDash delivered his Taco Bell, and, like, looking for it. And I was like, hey. And he turned around and went back in the house. And I'm like, I'm fixing to just go inside and eat this shit. And he comes back out with a different, brighter flashlight. And it's like, looking around. And I was like, hey, dude. And he fucking goes, yeah. I said, did you order Taco Bell? He goes, yeah. I said, the DoorDash dude left it over here. And he walks over and fucking takes it from me. He's like. Thanks, man. I'm real fucking high. I need this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, I'm real fucking drunk. I should have just ate it. <laughs> man, this is fucking this is cider. If you find it, you got to try it. It even says semi-sweet uh, and nutty, and it's fucking, I get that. Like I said, I bet I bet Chris probably has it. They, like, around, you know, that time of the year, they always have, like, the, uh, oh, the shiner s'mores and you know they've always carried those like seasonal beers from the companies like that that i'm pretty sure that place is probably an anheuser or whatever you call it maybe or inbev inbev i bet i'm sure i'm pretty sure they're an inbev company now i like it because it's sweet and it's got that dry i'm almost getting cat time but not quite but dry nutty roasty flavor on the end like, it literally tastes like, I mean, the apple part at the beginning is weird. I, I'll say that. But then you get the, like I said, the center of a pecan pie, the, the syrup, and then you get the, the fucking nuts. I mean, you don't get as much nuts as Casey does maybe on the weekends, but you get some nuts. <laughs> Casey gets all the nuts. Even at work, he gets all the nuts. So what they're going for and being something that you could probably get almost anywhere at a liquor store. Fuck me, man. Nine and a half. It, it's fucking good. I like it. And being 6%, most ciders are, like I said, four or five. So it's a little too sweet to get fucking hammered on, you know, in the summertime. But drinking two of them, three of them in the, in the fall. Fuck yeah. All right. There you go. We'll be seeing you.